Hey y'all, it is Glam Game Rebecca, and in today's video, we are doing another StarCraft II campaign. This is called the Engines of Destruction. This is where we go steal the Odin. This is the big mech unit that uh, Tychus uses when you play him in co-op. It's one of the top menus and stuff that you unlock once you get him a higher level. So you get his fun new toy. Um, all of the gameplay stuff that is not talking is sped up times two. There are quite a bit of cinematics that play before we get into this map. The map itself, I will try and leave a timestamp down below if you want to just skip to where the campaign actually starts. Neutralize the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave us! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander. Jim? What the hell's going on up there? I've been cleaning up after you a lot lately. Leave it alone, Matt. Same dream? I said, leave it alone. What happened to Kerrigan wasn't your fault. Which part? Was she got left behind? Or was she murdered eight billion people? Same old bullshit. You ain't gonna listen. See what you're becoming? We are who we choose to be, Matt. When you figure it out, let us know. We're waiting on you.
What Manx did to Kerrigan leaving her on that planet like that was pretty unthinkable, but it's a pretty Nazi move, and seeing as though he kind of acts like a Nazi, that's what I would have expected from him. He is such a human piece of waste. Anyways, so there's a few more cutscenes and some news coming up. Kate Lockwell for UNN. The elusive Queen of Blades was spotted on Tirador recently. Dr. Emil Narud, head of the renowned Mobius Foundation, had a run-in with the alien queen, but is currently unavailable for comment. In a statement, Dr. Narud credited Rainer's Raiders with keeping the Queen of Blades from achieving Kate, her- I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a breaking story. Apparently, uh, um, go to, go to, go to commercial, please, uh, commercial. What goes bump in the night? It might be your gifted child. Register your child with PsyOps today. It's the law. It's your duty. <laughs> He's a bad, bad man, that Tychus. He got a lot to hide. You think he's setting us up? His missions have been leading us straight to Kerrigan. Maybe you and Kerrigan keep running into each other because you both want the same thing. But Tychus, there's something else he don't want you to know. I can't see what. Just watch your back. Always remember that he's a force of destruction, that one. A stone killer. A lot of rumors going around. I'm guessing you've heard plenty about me and Kerrigan by now. Are the stories true? That Manx just abandoned her to the Zerg on Tarsonis? Her, plus a few billion innocent civilians. After that, we knew exactly what kind of man we'd been dealing with. I don't care much about anything anymore. But the one thing I hold on to is seeing Manx brought to justice before I die. Good to see you, sir. All available missions are ready for your perusal on the star map. Matt, I... Hell, just... Thanks, I guess. Yeah, I've been thinking about Tirador. And you know... There's gotta be better ways to make a fast buck than diving headlong into an alien invasion. If it gets too hairy for you, just try and think of the money. I'm trying, old buddy. I'm trying real hard. The decrypted adjutant contains records proving Manx ordered the massacre on Tarsonis. 
Now we just need to broadcast those records. Mirahan gave us a tip that might help. The Dominion is unveiling a new war machine called the Odin on Core Hall. If we hijack the Odin, we can use it to gain access to the UNN studios and broadcast the records of Manx's war crimes. The Odin is currently in the testing facility on Valhalla. Our team's in position. We're ready to steal the Odin. Are you absolutely sure about this, sir? Yep. Tychus is definitely our best man for this kind of job. He does get a little excited in combat. We're gonna need to keep up with him once the fighting starts. And if he can actually commandeer the Odin, it's vital that we take out all the Dominion bases in the area. Hopefully we can block all transmissions long enough for him to do that. We can't risk word of this getting back to Core Hall. How much do we know about this Odin? It's an experimental super-heavy siege walker designed for prolonged frontline combat. Very powerful. Great. Even Tychus can't wreck it then. Here they go. Go, go, go! Alright, so starting out this one, you just kind of follow Tychus on this before you get to the Thor, aka Odin, and you will help him pick up his new mech. Um, just so you know, all of these are sped up times two, and there was a bonus that I added from another stream. This ain't a stealth mission anymore, ladies. Bring it loud and fast. That I recorded because I realized I forgot to take out the Loki. So I had to go back and record the clip again. So I just clipped out where I took out the Loki. And Activate the auto turrets! You ain't keeping me from that monster. And then left the score screen for that one up on the screen as well at the very end. So you could just see that part of it if you wanted to see what I forgot and the, the difference between the two scores, just in case you were curious. Now, with this... Hot damn. I can't wait to get inside that thing and tear this place up. Hold your position, Tagus. Let us get a support force up there to cover you. Now that's what I'm talking about. Damn it, Tychus. Stand down. Can you read me? He's got it stuck on transmit, sir. He can't hear us at all. Defenses are coming online at the Dominion bases. Wonderful. Get our base set up ASAP. We'll just have to follow him in and hope he doesn't get too crazy. Ah, who am I kidding? Up, there is one base that you start off with, and then there is one at the top left-hand corner that you can take over once uh, Tychus clears it. And um, if you are worried about running out of crystals, which I did run out of crystals and Vespine gas, I would recommend expanding up there and making sure that you have defenses up there as soon as possible because... Sir, I'm picking up Dominion battle cruisers on an intercept course with the Odin. Hey, Hotshot, you want these Wraith fighters now? They'll take down a battle cruiser easy. You can build more at a starport. I, don't I didn't even think about it, but I probably I should have expanded a lot sooner because I ended up running out of crystals towards the end. The biggest things you're going oh, to want to build attacked. are marines, healers, and wraiths, and then siege tanks to protect your base, numbers, and then, um, of course, aerial turrets so that you can take out anything that comes in flying. So what's the plan now, Commander? Trash them bases, right? Jimmy? Partner? Can you hear me? SCV ready! Well, if you ain't gonna tell me not to have a little fun, I'm gonna have a little fun. <laughs> oh, here I go. Um, the cat things that I built were basically a waste of uh, crystals. I should not have built them, but they were super cool looking. And they are kind of nasty. So, um, the main thing that you want to build on here, of oh, course, allies, first, is your Vespine geysers, because you're going to need it, because you're going to need those rates 
Race will take out anything that is flying. You're going to need Marines that can hit ground and air, and you're going to want to keep at least oh, one ECV at, at all times with Tychus so that he can be repaired Not because you will constantly be repairing um, your you know, his mech while he is, is in the middle of working on stuff and he'll stop every so often and you'll have to repair. I would also recommend building like marine barracks and um, aerial turrets so that you can take out ground and air units and also putting sensor towers also helps you out in the long run as well because of the fact that it will um, give you advance warning to anything that may be moving you. Man, I need SCBs to fix some of this damage. Starting to feel a mite sluggish. Does he always talk this much, sir? Yep, once you get him in a fight, he never shuts up. Well, now that's done with. I'm gonna take me a little break. Good thing I brought me some liquid refreshment. Way. So those are like the main base rules that I have for this map is, um, you know, be very cost efficient with your crystal and Vespine gas you use because the map that you currently start with is not very, um, it doesn't have a whole lot and you will run out of crystals. Also, there are other objectives on this map. Mm, now that hit the spot. There's nothing like knocking back a cold one on top of your enemy's smoking corpses. <laughs> have to go get um, pieces that you'll need three different parts from. So you can also find those on the map too. There's actually one back in the lab that you have to go back and get down at the bottom left hand corner of the map. I can't wait no longer. Here it comes. Ready. So don't forget about that as well. Okay, so basically you are going to have troops and an SCV follow around that Thor through the different maps. Um, there are several segments of this map that you need to go to, and there's several little uh, artifacts and stuff that you can pick up, not to mention Loki, that you will see that play out at the very end. I think for this, I'm just going to leave the cutscenes alone and I'm going to play some music behind some of these sped up tracks so you guys can just watch on this okay. one. Flashy red button, what do you do? Ready to roll out! Boom, baby. We hear you. Damn. Love that is hot. What's going on? The force is attack. Not enough minerals. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt. Do you want some of this? Time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. Boom, baby. This better be good. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Bad news? In the rear with the gear. Boys will need some time to catch up. Good old Tychus be right here taking it easy. Just wake me up when y'all ready. I reckon a small new car to do it. <laughs> Great the waiting orders.
Não nas minutos. is down. Maybe the convict has his uses after all. Been waiting on you. You know, I think I'll take me another breather. You better get some backup ready for me, Jimmy. I'm going to be good. Base is under attack. Not enough. You reckon these Dominion boys will put up a fight this time? I ain't barely broke a sweat. They're all over me. Hey, they're all over me. Ready for dust off. Not enough minerals. Guys running around down there, Jimmy. <laughs> they look like ants. What's going on? Yes, sir. Somebody get out of this mess. This is gonna get tricky. I'm detecting battle cruisers at the next base, and the Odin doesn't have strong anti-air capabilities. 
Scramble more wraiths from the starport. If we have enough, we can handle those battle cruisers. Now that was fun. <laughs> Don't worry, old buddy. I'll give you some time to catch up. Well, I'll be. Those Dominion eggheads really thought of everything. Pardon me a moment. Alright, so we're getting down to the wire here. This is where you're going to need those air units to take out the um, battle cruisers and stuff that are going to be coming at us. And I didn't even prepare very well for this. I honestly didn't. And of course, they had one of those um, little Vulcan or whatever that was over there uh, pew pewing at my damn ICB. There we go. <laughs> you ready yet? Anyways, so I didn't realize that um, I did not have a whole lot of air yep. units. Um, I had a couple of Goliaths and a, a few Marines and War Dogs and stuff like that, but I was not prepared to go into this final end area. So um, make sure that you build um, those air units not like enough. they okay. suggest okay. Uh, because you will need them. I hope you're reading this, Jimmy, because I'm heading for the last base now. Sure thing. Also, don't forget that I included the other clip where I went after the Loki, which is another battle cruiser that was up towards the top of the map. That will go on after this. And then now I'm going into that final base at the bottom. If you have any questions or you have suggestions for future videos, please let me know. This is the 13th video that I had recorded out of 15. I've got two more to edit before I can record more. Time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. Ready for dust off. Waiting on you. We can use some help. Hello there. Now, how'd I miss this button with a skull on it? And somebody left a comment on another video that I had done where they were like, it's been a while since I've heard somebody gotcha. refer to this as a human campaign because they're called Terrans. But you know, um, I try and dumb stuff down as best I can. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. You want some of this? I'm standing. My goose is getting cooked. I'm in a world of hurt. Well, butter my biscuit. By the number. What's going on? Ah! You scared me! In the base is under attack. Huh? Excellent. With the Odin secured, we can hit the UNN complex on Core Hall and make our broadcast. Hey, can you hear me, Captain? Maybe next time you'll dress old Tychus with a little bit of mayhem. <laughs> That's about all I trust you with, Tychus. And that is it for the Engine of Destruction. This is where Tychus gets his nice mech toy that he likes to use. Um, they call it the Odin on here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Um, trying to get caught back up and trying to make sure that I get these done again. Um, since I have been migraine free for about three days. So fingers crossed that it stays that way. I'm on a new medication. So... Anyways, I will see you guys in another video. Have a fabulous day or night wherever you are. Bye.